I'm Dirk, welcoming you back to another video for the uh, Indigo Light YouTube channel and blog. I want to thank you for your presence here, uh, for being here on this uh, interesting day uh, towards the end of July. And uh, I want to talk a bit about what's going on these days in terms of energies, events, and so on. Um, as I do with every video, I want to thank you all for your presence, for your contribution, for the feedback, for the love, and um, for being part of this experience for me and for each other. Um, as I mentioned at the end of last video, my utmost interest in this is not to make this so much about me, but about um, creating a small uh, but certain community on the internet where you can reach out to each other, communicate about what you're feeling, what's going on within your lives, and how it, um, the, it draws parallels between each other's stories on a constant basis. Um, so um, what I want to do today, and I'll have some disclaimers and some, some announcements towards uh, the end of the video about what's going on with the Indigo Light channel, uh, what are the future plans, and um, how you can help to, to uh, make this journey easier for us. Um, so I'll do that towards the end. And um, I want to talk about um, the events that are happening the last few days and towards the, the first week of August. What we what we call it Lions Gate, the the eighth of August. Um, first thing I want to say as a, as a general statement is that the energy is um, it's quite challenging. Um, the Mercury retrograde movement has come into effect today on the twenty fifth. Uh, it's been felt for the last few days at least. I uh, I've relocated to Canada in in the last month or so, and I moved to a very beautiful green lush area um, near what is called Gatineau Park, north of Ottawa in uh, eastern Ontario and there have been some torrential rains here and the infrastructure because it's more of a rural area has been affected um, so I've been offline I mean trying to work here and there when I can when the internet comes back on back off um, but um, this is really the the mercury retrograde energy in effect um, even though I don't dwell so much in astrological events and I'll, I'll talk about this in a second um, it has been challenging, inconvenient for myself, for clients that I do sessions with, um, but it has also taught me to disconnect a bit on a more steady basis because I do a lot of work with uh, via the internet technology, Wi-Fi, and I become reliant on it. And it, it opened my eyes to the beauty of being disconnected, you know, sitting down late nights, uh, playing Scrabble with your loved ones, and, and just being within the moment. And that the necessity of constant connection to technology is only but another illusion and um, only because my work is done via the internet it has made it more indispensable but it's been an uncomfortable but yet rewarding experience um, and it is the the energy of the what we call the quintessential mercury in retrograde uh, in effect now i want to talk a bit about this about uh the, the full moon on the 27th and i'm this is not an astrological uh, video at all i don't dwell into astrology nor do i do predictions or you know um, spend too much time talking about dates, but I think there is an interesting pattern and energy here that needs to be discussed. Um, I started my journey with astrology many, many, many years ago, in around 2009, um, a bit earlier, actually, in 2007. Um, and it was something that I, I put my hopes and efforts into. And today I hold it evident as, as a tool that is very useful, but it's only one part of the puzzle. I think that, and I asked my guidance this many times over because I wanted to understand um, there was the the interest of, you know, I had some difficult trials and tribulations and I found within the astrological map the ability to explain and sometimes to predict or to identify patterns by this mathematical planetary design that I understood could not have been man-made and it had, you know, probably come from another place in a different time. At that time, I didn't know about channeling or any of that stuff. Um, as I progressed, and I, I kind of really looked into the, the roots of, of, this, of this science, um, as I progressed, I, I asked my guidance over the years how this functions. And the basic understanding is that the universe is an entity. Um, all planets have um, personalities and energies and polarities of their own. And they all work in some kind of, um, they just showed me the dials of a clock. Sorry, the, the clock when you open it at the back and all the intricate parts that work together to form a whole. But you don't see it. Um, so there is a certain design of um, energy within the multiverse. There are the dimensions that are physical and the dimensions that are not physical. 
and within all the dimensions there is an infinity of dimensions in between the set dimensions so really the easiest way to explain the universe is just infinity it's a term we use over and over but it's not a term that is um it's not a term that you could really understand because nobody can you know ascertain what infinity is since it has no limits no boundaries it's just better to accept it at that um i've seen it in meditations i've seen you know flickers of it and it was so huge and so immense that i just said you know just let it be uh, bathe in it exist but don't try to figure it out um so within the infinity of the universe and there are other you know the other galaxies and places like ours where people are probably doing very similar things right now um people that look like us talk like us very similar some are very different each have their own central sun and their own you know kind of a sphere of existence within that galaxy within ours we have a certain set of planets they function within the astrological map because the date that you were born and that you came into your physical vessel that you took physical form um was the date that you chose to characterize you the effect of the polarities and the energies the feminines the masculines of the planets on that planet at that specific time on that specific day characterized you your body and your character um throughout this lifetime therein comes the astrological map but i want to highlight that it is only reflection of your soul energy your soul energy since the universe is all about mathematics and numbers and so on had chosen that specific entry point to come in because the vessel the journey the place where you were born and so on would characterize it so the astrology itself is only a reflection of what is happening within that's why um to the 10 plus years that i've been doing this i always tell people do not sit and wait for certain dates to take effect to take form and to affect your life The only thing you can do through ascension is super simple sit with yourself on a daily basis have that introspection level and and the time that you take and try to figure out what works and what doesn't work and then address point by point by point it is by becoming a better person a more loving person a person that treats others how they want to be treated that you can ascend fully there is no magical uh, gateway there is no uh, magical formula and there are no dates you know where by happen happenstance or some energetic uplift the whole planet will change instantly it is a work gradually that is done to ourselves from within each of us separately and then all of us helping each other out as a community at the end of the day um and i will i will start courses very soon so i will i will start talking about this as well everything is energy and within your meditations you can ask to visualize or to see the world as it really is and your physical body has been what you identified with for so long through the 3d journey but it's not who you are at all it's just a glorified meat suit for your energy for your soul which is energy in turn so if you were to close your eyes and see the reality you would see all of you sitting at home with your different energy energetic signatures me here us connecting on a sphere that is higher and then you know talking in our 3d selves and our 3d our physical selves um through this computer and superposed upon the 3d would be the 5d but all i'm trying to say is that at the end of the day everything is about energy and the more you concentrate on your energy and you work on yourself um the easier this journey can be the the more you can alleviate the the, the symptoms and the things that are coming forth so it is so as not to sit and wait for events to come nonetheless there is a supreme design a higher design um it requires us to sit with ourselves work on ourselves on a constant basis but there are things external to us there is like a rhythmic uh um design of waves that are meant to hit the earth and change things at a certain at a certain speed um the frequency of which depends on humans and their acceptance of the changes that are coming so basically the more we work on ourselves we help the planet ascend we help the people around us ascend our families our friends um when we help the planet ascend and then it becomes easier for the planet to accommodate a certain wave and then that wave comes that's what i'm trying to say um so let us not sit and wait for the 27th to come the 8th the 10th uh, whatever um it doesn't work like that nonetheless there are things from out from from outside that do affect us and in this specific case um i i've been talking about the the summer being a, a completion and a closure point for all of us 
about all the work that we've done. I think many of us can feel it. Um, the energy of now, as Mercury grows into retro today, just to make things a bit more, you know, complicated, uh, the spirits are a bit higher, there's a more, bit more combative, polemic element, and a bit more nervous energy within us. You can see it, I've been experiencing it with, you know, electrical devices, internet, and so on for the last few days. The pattern that I do see uh, from clients and from myself is elements popping up from the far past, that things that used to really bother us, whether it's family that we've left, you know, way back, uh, financial issues, health issues, things that we really thought we were done coming back in a way that really irks us in the last, I would say, three to four days. And I suppose that it will continue for the next three or four days. I think the lesson here is not just not to deal with it. And by that, I mean, we've been there. This is the old you popping up saying hello one last time and the new you, which is right here. The attention that you choose to give that is on you. That is your choice. So if you really feel like you've changed and things pop up from the past, you've done all the work, you've been through this, you know, rigmarole again and again and again. These are things that uh, purposely you have been annoyed by in the past and they really irk you. Some of the things that really get under your skin, they come back, they stare at you one last time and it is, it is, it is up to you whether you really want to go back and, you know, uh, go into that, that move again or you want to look at it and say, I'm not giving you any attention. I'm totally done with you. Goodbye. So, um, that's what I've been, you know, experiencing. Um, I believe that it will carry on. I understand that the 27th is an important date, energetically, numerically. I'm not going to go into the astrological um, uh, consequences of that. Uh, I'm not an astrologer by any means. I'm uh, somebody that was very passionate about this in the past. And today I understand that I think all the modalities and the disciplines that we've been given through this lifetime and the ones before, like with religions, I believe that all these modalities together, like all religions together, were supposed to give us, you know, the, the the utmost answer, but man, as as uh, humanity does, often has taken these things apart and made them, you know, different and bigger and smaller than they were meant to be, and everything are complicated. So our guidance asks us at the end of the day just to rely upon our heart chakra and ourselves to figure out what is right, what is wrong, what works, and what doesn't. So again, this is an important period. The best advice that I can give is to be patient with yourself. And if you see things that really pop up from the past, um, that you really question, you know, the legitimacy of their presence and why they are here to bother you once again, just don't let them. You can rise above them. You can let them go. It's just the amount of attention creates the amount of importance and the amount of weight that they have in your life. If you give it none, it takes none, and it just goes away on its own. If there are mishaps and all these things, again. In the 3D lifestyle, we are used to things going wrong. We're used to the rat race. We're used to the doggy dog lifestyle. Um, today, none of these things have to happen. There is no reason why you can't have fluidity throughout your life. It's something that you're trying to get used to. If things go wrong, there are mishaps and all these things, you need to take a pause, take a step back, look at the situation for what it really is, look at the importance of these things, because most of the time they're not important. They are things that we're... You know, they irk us, they bother us, but they're, the real importance in our lives is very minimal. We are trying to get our health better, our mental state, our energy. And I think the point is not to lose our balance, just to keep on your center. This does not matter. It's just a matter of time before it's resolved. I have a roof over my head, food on the table. My health is good or improving. My spirit is good or improving. I'm here. I'm empowering myself on a constant basis, and I do not need to let this bother me. Okay, again, the amount of attention that we give it. Um, my guidance has relayed simply that this is a closure period between the 27th until the 8th. Um, a lot of things will come up to the surface within, you know, the world around us. A lot of things will be um, revealed in terms of, um, I'm going to use the word, the ugliness of the world. Things just come up to the surface in order to be, you know, for people to deal with them because it's, we well know humanity has a, a propensity for really waiting until the last minute, until things are really bad, to react. And that's been a huge problem because nobody is really willing to take responsibility and accountability for their actions, their mistakes. 
until they really rear their ugly faces uh, towards the end of, of the road, which is unfortunate, but this is how it is. Um, so this is the energy of the days. Um, do not get rattled by it. Try to cruise through it. Do not lose your center. I think that's the only lesson here. Whatever happens around you, understand, understand that as much as things look dire on the outside, there is a reason for everything that is happening. And sometimes the storm hits before they can be calm and things get a bit worse. I mean, in the world, um, and it's not yours. The most important thing is what's it within your heart. The work that you do on yourself, how it expands outwards towards your surroundings and affects those around you and how you help other people. Because as I mentioned again and again and again in, in videos uh, and in the book that I wrote, um, I strongly believe that the structure of the world today is mostly artificial. The only things that are real are our energy, how we coexist and help each other and love each other and act as one global family and how we treat this planet. Everything else can be dispensed with. We cannot be dispensed with and this planet definitely cannot be dispensed with because it's beautiful, especially here where I am. I really get to, you know, have the aha moments, the sceneries where you sit and Everything pauses because you, you're wondering if you're within a postcard or if it's real. Okay, um, it's because Canada is really that beautiful. Um, and it, it comes back to us. The whole journey has never been about anything from outwards. It's never been about other people. It's always been about us, our journey, um, the acceptance to change, the work we do in ourselves, and how we treat other people based on you know the work we've done on ourselves. So it's an important energetic period, and I believe that there is a closure point. I'm not going to assume that everything will be closed, closed in terms of grounding in 5D by the 8th, but I do understand that it's a very important period. So whatever happens, stay in your center, because that's the only thing your guidance wants you. You are at the point where in your journey, you've done the work. Most people have cleared you know, the heavy-duty uh, wounds and the core beliefs. And um, you are meant to choose between empathizing and, and uh, identifying with the old ways of doing things or the new. And that is your choice. If you want to choose the new, you realize whatever happens in the world doesn't matter to you in terms of affecting your balance. Your, your guidance has you covered. The universe is here to help you. Just stay on your path. Don't lose your center. And you are loved nonetheless. It never withered away. Okay. You have just improved and you can understand what is real and what is not. Okay. Um, that's the message that I wanted to relate today. It's a short message. I believe every week or two week period has a different kind of wave of energy. One thing I do want to highlight and I'll, I'll as I said, I'll start courses um, in some format or another with the things that I've learned and start to relaying uh, to people in person or on the internet. Um, Within the spiritual ascension journey, it's never been, a, this is one of the first, first things I learned from my, my teacher at the beginning of my journey. It's not, um, it's not a staircase, it's a spiral. So, um, everything comes in waves. And every step that you're done with in terms of a stage in your life, your ego comes and stops you. And it makes sure that you have learned and are willing to implement fully all the lessons of before. And until you're willing to do that, you're not allowed to ascend anymore. That is uh, why I'm saying this is simple. Um, the lessons, the waves of energy that hit our planet, they always come in waves. Then there is a quiet period and then they start again. Um, sometimes you have a, an aha week where everything is great after a change that you've made and suddenly something happens the week after and everything starts to go wrong. It doesn't really work like that. It's just you've made a change. You had a great seven days. Does that mean that you're ready to implement this change for the rest of your life or not? If for the week after that, everything starts to kind of lose its balance and rattle you around, it means that there's still a bit of work to do. It's not a punishment at all. But the whole point is, again, stay in your center during that, that, that piece of your journey. Okay. Um, that's what I wanted to relay. I invite you to, to use the comments to connect with each other, to connect with me, send me an email. Um, there are sessions available, as I've mentioned, and again and again. Um, I do work with clients on a one-to-one -one basis, and I'm willing to, you know, elaborate on that further if you are interested. I do have my email address. Everything will be in the comments. Uh, now, in, in, in regards to um, disclaimers and announcements, um, there is the book available, Confessions of an Indigo Child. 
It's on uh, Amazon at the moment in Kindle format. You can use Kindle also for PC. And uh, a lot of work is being done to get it into paperback format as well. But uh, that will take a bit of time uh, depending on the process. Um, second thing is I'm interested in starting to do webinars with people. If you are interested, I would like to hear from you uh, within the comment section or via email how many people would be interested in a webinar. Um, one of the reasons I believe and I understand now that I've, you know, I guess chosen on a, on a soul level to come to Canada and settle here, not only for its beauty and, and the kindness and the cohesion, is um, to do workshops in person. It's something that I've been asked to do and I've pushed it aside for many years and I believe the time is now. Um, and I would like to be available at the moment. Um, so I do want to hear some feedback regarding workshops and firstly webinars, which can be done for everybody via the internet in a bit simpler format. Uh, workshops, obviously, logistically are a bit more complicated, but you know can be also a bit more rewarding. So I am setting up a webinar format. If you are interested, um, you know, let me know. Uh, also, if you have some specific topics that you would like to cover, because I have many ideas from over the years um, in regards to the ascension and also in regards to the basics of um, your spiritual structure and how to how to live within 5D without getting too many headaches and stumbling too many times along the way. Um, this is what I wanted to announce. Um, we are having a kind of intense expansion period on the website, the YouTube channel, and so on. If you feel so inclined, I invite you to donate, and you can help us, you know, with this journey. The, the link will be in the description. It's a simple paypal.me uh, slash indigo light love. That's it. Um, everything's in the description regardless if you are interested. Um, it's a community. It's a family. We help each other out. I also invite you, again, connect with each other in the comments. Help each other out. Okay, um, I, this is the purpose that I've been trying to convey since the beginning of the journey. It's not so much about me. My guidance asked me to do this a long time ago. I finally, you know, took the responsibility and create a forum where messages can be put out there and help people. And I would like also people to help each other. I think that's, you know, one of the greatest purposes that we can have. And uh, to treat each other with respect and the way we want to be treated by others. That's important as well. Um, that's what I wanted to convey. I want to thank you infinitely again for being here. Um, you are an indispensable part of my process. I learn a lot from everyone that I work with, that I talk to, that I come in contact. And um, you are my feedback for this journey. So I want to thank you. This is in regards to my last video, the positive feedback video. Um, stay awesome, stay loving, stay kind. And I want to tell you again that I love you and I thank you infinitely for being aware, for working on yourselves, for taking the time to go through your own Pandora's box within your heart and get all the, you know, the stuff that doesn't need to be there anymore and clear up and get the good energy in. Because we, it's a very difficult process and I don't think uh, most people understand or have the, the resolve to, to, to go into that. So give yourself some credits and I give you my love from, from where I'm sitting and hopefully one day in person. And thank you infinitely. Namaste. Bye-bye.